Okay guys, in this episode, I want to show you how to set up a quad model on the Nirvana remote control. This is the new remote control and I want to show you how to create a model and the switches as we go through this exercise. So first off, you want to hit this little corner icon here that will bring up the model selection menu and you just select the model. Now, I already had uh, two models set up already in in this menu here as you can see um, so to so to create a new one let's go ahead and create new one together so you just select the model and uh, hold on to the screen then you will present it with this new menu the new menu is select model create model duplicate model or the lead model so in this case we want to create new model together so let's go ahead and do that. So I select create model. So in that create model, as you can see, uh, I have a model select already here. Okay. So there's a little check mark down here that indicate in the red rectangular selection of that particular model. So let's go ahead and uh, we go back out and you see the model is right there. Okay. So now there are three icons here. So you want to select the quad icon, which is the, the model that you want to set up. All right. So first you see the model come, come up by a default name of model 07. So in this case, we want to change that. So we go ahead and change one. You select on it, the keyboard will pop up here. So in this case, I just, uh, delete that just call it a test for now it's a test model okay we call it a test you can select the image if you want to okay there's an image of a model if you have different image file in the SD card inside the remote you can actually select that and as you come down here you just leave everything the same you come down here as you see okay so by default, because this Nirvana is the fly sky uh, protocol that run this uh, radio, so it's not FR sky, it's fly sky, as you can see here. All right, so now in my case, a particular model, if you have a fly sky, you can do use that default setting, and that is the internal RF that uh, that is coming up. So in my case, I'm using the the crossfire something like this okay uh, in this case I you want to turn this off okay so you want to turn the internal RF off now it's off then you want to also go ahead and turn on the external RF in my case because I'm using crossfire I'm go ahead and select the CRSF okay so now I have the crossfire module. So that means the internal RF turned off and it's going to provide the power to the external for my crossfire. So now that's done on this page. So the next thing is you see here, there's a helicopter. We're not setting up helicopter. We're setting up for a quad. So we'll go to the quad icon. So this section here is where you set up your flight mode. So my first flight mode here, as you can see, all right. So I'm gonna set this up as my uh, angle, okay. Oops. A little bit uh, fat finger there, okay. And and for my angle, you have to select your switch. So as you can see here, I put angle and then switch. I just select switch. So on my end uh, switch, I want to use this switch down here. Okay. So that is the, uh, if you look here, it's say uh, S G. Okay. So that is the switch that we want to select. Okay. So we go here. So S G. Okay. So S G, there's three position switch. So you see S G down center and sg down center and up so the first when it's in down position 
it's gonna be my angle mode then when I go to the next one is my horizon okay now in the horizon same thing I go to SG center okay and then my third one is my air mode. so that will be my air mode so that'll be SG up position okay so that's there all right so now once you've done that you go you you, you scroll the top menu here so slide it all right you can slide it you can slide back and forth here all right now we were here at the quad icon now we go to the input i can just select position number five okay and i click edit so with this input well so the first input will be my arm mode so with my arm switch so i'm gonna do arm give it a name arm and then come down here give it another name so that it showed up on the menu it's easy to read and then my source i just select my source and my arm will be the the sa up here so my sa find sa there's an sa so i got arm sa i'm good so i got that there my next position is switch six position six so that will be my um the g uh switch over here on this side um so that one will be my g switch um so this will be my flight uh yeah fly mode okay we'll just typing the name here and the source is the sg so sg is a three position switch okay so we'll see there in there three position switch okay then my next one will be my um position seven with my buzzer so the buzzer i selected to use this switch right here okay so that switch is s f s and frank so this is my buzzer and the name and i'm gonna select the source is f s as is Frank all right so now we done all our setup here with all the switches and we move on to the mixer so the mixer is the next icon over on this side so now we go to position 5 what is our position 5 I call it arm right so I got the arm there uh, I just gave it a name it's easy when you have name laid out and that's all i have to do same thing with uh, mixer channel six will be my f mode which is my fly mode and then i go to seven which is which is my buzzer and all you do just go in there and give it a name and select the right uh, input and you all set so now I'm ready, good to go. So this particular model is set up for the beta flight. So next we'll go to beta flight and uh, we'll set up uh, the right uh, channel map for this radio. So let's go there. Okay, now we at the uh, beta flight. As you can see, I have my uh, quad right here uh, connecting to the beta flight. Um, and as you can see here, um, I have a uh, beta flight right there. Okay, so now what we can do, uh, let's look at the configuration. Alright, so everything still 
set up the same what I have here um, my radio is uh, receiver is crossfire selected um, so everything is the same um, I'm not changing anything here so we'll go to the receiver so as you can see um, the receiver is connected I have the crossfire module connected to the back it's got the green light so that means it's linked have a bound to the quad receiver everything there so just check our channel make sure the channel is lined up to this so I'm doing the throttle you see throttle is working yaw um, yaw is not right there so we gotta fix the yaw and what about pitch roll rolling yaw need to be swap around so those are the kind of thing when you set this up you have to kind of go in there and and change that so let's let's go ahead and change it um i change it to all eta and that is the right uh channel mapping so throttle Y'all, pitch, and go. Okay, so everything works to that level. If you see my switch, this is my arm switch right here. So, okay, everything works there. And my mode switch on aux 2. And then the buzzer. Okay, everything works great there. Um, so that's it, guys. Um, it's not that complicated. It's straightforward. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please.